Hey everyone, welcome back to John Meet Your Art. In today's video, I want to try something different and draw an artwork in Art Nouveau style. The style was the most popular between 1890 and 1910 and it's one of my favorite art styles ever. But I never drew like this before. Until now. One of the most famous artists of this era was Alfons Mura, who created commercial art, posters and decorative panels. What I love about it is this beautiful fusion of decorative and abstracted elements like flowers, leaves or hair and traditional fine arts with natural proportions and shadings. So let's go and see how I made a artwork in Art Nouveau style. Ok, how I started. First I found this beautiful picture made by Bailey Burton. This beauty was my reference, furthermore I made some pictures of flowers in my garden. My main work was to put everything together and find or add nice characteristic lines to design good shapes as a basement for my artwork. When you want to make an artwork in Art Nouveau style, you don't need to be super realistic. It's more important that your lines are powerful and clear. What means that you just need a few generalized lines that characterize the object. Things like flowers or hair are more organic ornaments than realistic pictures. Flowers are a good example. At first I used a hard charcoal pencil with brighter value to define the petals as shapes and drew just a few details into it. To make them interesting and eye-catching. The same with the hair. I drew it more like shapes with some elegant curves and curls with not too much details. After my line work was done, the background got a rub with charcoal powder and I started to give the strands of hair a darker value with charcoal powder, a hard charcoal pencil and a little brush. A needed eraser helped me to add some highlights into it. With this technique I worked through the whole drawing, strand for strand. To make some strands and flowers more pop I outlined it with a darker soft charcoal pencil. Phew! Ok, doing the hair was a little bit work. Now we will finish the most important part of this drawing the face. I started with the eyes and drew the main shape with a hard charcoal pencil. Then I started shading and building up volume with a very dark charcoal powder which I rubbed before from a Pierre Noir pencil. In case of the eyes I wanted the highest contrast as possible, so I used a soft charcoal pencil to draw eyes and eyelashes and I put a very bright highlight on the pupil. And I know, I know, this is far more realistic than it should be in a traditional Art Nouveau artwork, but I really wanted these eyes to catch your attention. To keep that attention, the other parts of the face shouldn't be as rich in contrast, so my shading was a lot brighter for the cheek, the forehead, the nose, and finally the lips, with just a few details, like this little wrinkles beside to form a smile saying Hi, I'm the spring, you made it, the dark days are over. And last but not least, I drew a very thick line around the head to give a extra contrast, like Arfons Mucha did it in his artworks. So what's my conclusion? Will I ever draw like this again? Yeah! But I really struggled not to draw hair and flowers too realistic. I think I made this a little bit more my own way as I planned. But hey, it's me. Sometimes I can't help myself. I just love to draw details. Anyway, this drawing is dedicated to the spring. Write me a comment if you like to see the three other seasons left. And don't forget to watch my other videos. Take care and see you soon to a new witty.